They've been a power couple in the Canadian music industry for over two decades, and now Chantal Kreviatsik and Rain Maida are doing something fans have been waiting years to hear. The only way we can write this record is if we can be vulnerable. I just feel like we need things to happen so that we are connected. But the personal stuff is like whatever to me because that's just our life. That happens every day. You know, we ups and downs, and but I'm deeply in love with Chantal and we're committed, so that stuff's not going away. To me, it was watching some of the music stuff. It's like, does that sound good? Is that the right thing we should have done? Oh, ha, ha, ha. Take you now as you are, even if you don't go far. Yeah, Rain and Chantal have been married for two decades, and their love story started in Toronto. They met backstage at a Pearl Jam concert in the early 90s. Since then, they've had three children and multiple top ten hits. They're letting fans into their life in an intimate documentary called I'll Never Break Your Heart. You get to express your feelings all the time. I'm telling you how it made me feel. It follows a raw, emotional look at the marital challenges and follows the process behind their first joint album under the name Moon vs. Sun. That is literally one of the three most pure musical experiences I've ever had in my life. Yeah, it's just one of those things. Uh, I remember after we finished, we kind of looked at each other, and even some of the camera people were like, Okay, amazing. We did it. Like, yeah. oh my God. Yeah, like, because you dream of that as an artist. When I'm happiest is when you and I play together. Everything else goes away. This project is so exciting to me. It feels like it happened, and I know I'm part of it. <laughs> I know I am. I was there. I, I did it too, but it's so special that I feel like I'm, uh, I'm able to somehow also be an admirer in, in the audience. Like it's, it's something different than I've ever experienced. The new music will be released in the spring with a tour that will make stops across Canada. Lindsay Dunn, City News.